I want you to listen to this and I want you to repeat after me. God honors those that honor God. Would you say it loud with me? God honors those that honor. I want you to memorize that. Did God honor Abraham? Did God honor Moses? Did God honor Joseph? After seven years of suffering in prison, did God put him as the second one at the Pharaoh's kingdom, court? Yes. Listen. Probably. Probably. God brought back memories to Daniel. And God told him in that trip, listen, you may not understand now, but you don't need to understand what you go through. When you understand, that's not faith. That's not a way to trust me. You may go to trials, trials, but you don't need to understand. What you need, you need to trust God always. You need to remain faithful always. That's what you need. You may pray and you may not get an answer and you may not see the big picture, but you don't need to see the big picture and you don't need an answer as you want, when you want. This is what you need. You need to honor God. You need to remain faithful always. You need to trust your God. That's what you need. You don't even need to be concerned with self. You don't need to focus on self. When you focus on self, that's selfishness. Oh, look what happens to me. Look what people say about me. People would always talk about you. Nobody can stop their mouth except dirt, dust. When they get several feet under the ground, then they stop talking about you. Before you cannot stop them. Look what they did to me. It hurts. I'm not joking about it. I'm not minimizing. They do that to me and to you. It hurts. But it's not about you. God loves you. Doesn't the parents love? Don't the parents love the children? When it hurts the children, guess what? It hurts the parents. And God is the best parent ever. Don't you believe that? So if they hurt you, guess what? If somebody hurts my kid, I feel like killing them. Because they hurt me. Hey, you can touch me, but don't touch my kid. So when they hurt you, they hurt your father in heaven who cares for you, who gave his son for you. And you should not be concerned with them. You should be concerned with God. People who say, I'm not going to preach because, you know, if I preach, if I do evangelism, if I go in a mission trip, what if I don't do it well? Guess what? They are concerned so much. What if I don't do well? How am I going to look like? What will people say about me? Me, me, me. When you're concerned about God and God is calling you to serve, you don't care how you look. You care to serve. Oh, I'm not going to do that because I am not so good. That's pride. And they play humbleness. Oh, I'm so small. If you are small, do it. Because God said you'll not go alone. When I call you, I will go with you. It's not about you. You see what they did to me? They fired me. Yet they, that group there, they don't talk to me. They don't like me as a pastor. As long as you are alive, it's about you. When you die to self, people cannot hurt you. It's about God. The reason we suffer, the reason we have conflicts, is because we are still alive. And we can talk a lot about it, but it's not so easy to die to self. It's easier to do evangelism and to give money to the church. It's easier to help the poor, but it's more difficult to die to serve. And Jesus says that if you love whatever more than me, you are not worthy to be my disciple. Jesus says that you must take your cross and do what he did, die daily, if you want to be his disciple. And just when you die, the, the grain cannot produce anything before the grain goes into the ground. Before life, death comes. There is no life without death. And those who want to save their life, they will lose it. And just those who lose it, they will save it. And Jesus gave us that example clearly because he loves us. And he wants us to die in order to finally live. So Daniel learned to die to self. Therefore, whatever they did to him, and they did plenty to him. Whatever they did to him, didn't matter much because he was not even thinking about himself. He was all the time concerned with God because those who honor God 
God honors them. And you wonder why God doesn't honor me. Because we never die to self. We always honor self. Though we may pretend we don't. 